Love for this life. Ozu, Ozu. So you want to tell us that only two people you don't join and go kidnap? Yes, sir. You're a liar. Now this time, now then carry me. This face, I they see. I mean, they like that. I was actually involved in the kidnapping that uh, of uh, Akiba and Danjuma. A motivational speaker and a kidnap syndicate who goes by the name John Ewa, aka John Leon, has been arrested on the 26th of September 2022. It was gathered that uh, John Ewa is behind a series of high-profile kidnap incidents in Bayasa State, but he is originally from Cross River State. According to reliable sources, John Ewa changed his name to John Lyon when he was a dispatch rider at Commercial Bank before he was sacked due to alleged involvement in criminal activities at the bank. So it was said that while John was working at the bank, he had run several errands for his superior, which gave him access to, you know, privileged information, which was supplied to criminal elements to carry out operations. Honestly, this is serious. So, after his appointment was terminated in the bank, then John Ewa was said to have recruited boys to run a kidnap syndicate with specialization in kidnapping high-profile residents of the states. So, according to more investigation, the police got on trail of Ewa after the so arrest of other two suspects, Kingsley and uh, God Leaves, who were involved in the kidnap of one Mr. Danjumo MAJ, a manager with Premium Trust Bank at Bayasa State in Yanagoa. So, it was gathered that uh, Danjuma was kidnapped on the 30th of June 2022 and was relieved after he said after he was said to have parted with a ransom of 50 million naira. So, John Ewa, who runs, you know, this interior decoration sort of, you know, just to cover up his criminal activities, is known for his life task. At least you can see him here, look at. I was actually involved in the kidnapping that, uh, of uh, Akiba and Danjuma. So you want to tell us that only two people you don't join and go kidnap? Yes, sir. You're a liar. Now this turn, now then carry me. This face, oh. I they see. I mean, they like that. Funny enough, a motivational speaker, John Leon, saying nothing good ever comes from too many people knowing your business. Being private, Loki is the best way to be. Hustle hard. Can we imagine? And he's also into a deep worship of things. The church goer. Look at the way he's concentrating body, soul, and spirit. And then the following day, he wrote Peter to people. How could this be? And uh, it was also said this guy has masterminded the kidnap of his sister to one uh, governor of a state like that at Governor uh, Seriaki Dixon. So, and then with the fear of this, so that so many uh, John you know, Ewa also business have masterminded the kidnap were, of were forced sister to, flee, to flee from, from one the governor state. Seriaki yes, now, Dixon. It's, it's normal. And uh, some top and, uh, you know, businessmen. This uh, and before the kidnap of uh, Danjuma. Uh, yes, according now, to the police, you no. Know, if there's John Ewa, like this guy came to the, the bank, the premium the trust place, bank, pretending to be I mean, making inquiries on be forced to leave account for his so, children. And the, what was actually John gathering Ewa information was about said Danjuma. To, you know, so Mr. Danjuma is also he went to, to this uh, identify uh, him. premium yes, bank. because he said where, why after he was uh, kidnapped and called, uh, Danjuma John Ewa's boys were brutalizing him. John was lying on the couch, you know, while watching he go through torments before the sum of fifty million naira was paid. Though it said that uh, John Ewa also, you know, has this uh, in-law who is into uh, governorship. Uh, he is a governorship candidate of one of the major political parties. Some people say it's APC in the state, and that guy is also with the police custody. You know, police in custody in the police custody answering question on the kidnap incidents. So I don't understand. You know, robbing people's hard-earned money. And they uh, spending it, and he is said to be a, a graduate of University of Calabar. But University of Calabar has released, has made their own press uh, release saying that this guy is never a student, he's never an alma mater of uh, University of Calabar. Look at him; he even said to have police guards that uh, protect him, work with him. I mean, this is serious. Nothing good ever comes from too many people knowing your business. Yeah, because he's into a dirty business. Yes, every day is for the thief. One day should definitely be for the owner of the properties. Look at him, like how he has uh, been disgraced. Eh? Look at him flaunting money. If you don't know how he makes this money now, 
you will think you are not struggling enough. So, guys, let us try to, you know, maximize our limits and uh, live within our own riches without envying anybody or craving for other people's things. Look at this disgrace. Look at him. You guys, you guys saw this guy when he was, you know, bubbling in the church, you know, in the, this uh, 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 attitude of deep worship. You can't, God is not deceived. God is never mocked. Whatever a man does, he will definitely reach. He was mocking God. You can see him, he's in deep worship of body, soul, and spirit, whereas making people to cry. So God in turn has now disgraced him.